Welcome to my channel. I'm Roseanne. For those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you for joining. Today we're going to talk about some wacky travel tips. And then at the end, I'll just share some really great travel tips. But some of these wacky ones might be fun. So, number one, travel with a crayon in your wallet. And I think this refers mostly to men. And I thought that was pretty weird. So, the what you do is you put a crayon in a little plastic bag or a little envelope so it doesn't get all if it melts or whatever, and you put it in your wallet and it keeps your wallet kind of firm. Another reason why you want to bring a crayon is because a crayon will write anywhere and it can distract children if you wanted to, if you're sitting with the child or if you're bringing your child with you. But a crayon could write in the cold weather, a crayon could write in water, and um, so that is um, a travel tip, is travel with a crayon. Who knew? <laughs> Another travel tip is you know how they have those contact cases and they have two little screw tops and just a little bit of uh, space? You can add your moisturizer, your foundation, your creams, your eye cream, whatever you want in those little contact cases because they're small, compact, and of course, Sometimes when you're traveling light, you want to really make sure that you are really strategic on how you bring your uh, toiletries. So that's a very interesting tip. Another tip is uh, when you get a shower cap, whether you get a shower cap in the hotel room or you have one on your own, use those to wrap your shoes in. I think that that was a really great tip. Um, I know when I travel, sometimes I'll use one of those uh, gro safe plastic grocery bags and I put my shoes in there. Or of course I have packing cubes that, and they have a little bag carrier as well for your shoes. But using a shower cap is brilliant. It's really lightweight. You just wrap it around your shoes and you got it going. Another tip is when you're looking for airline tickets or you're wanting to book something, you might want to go into the Ign... <laughs> incognito website so you go in as a private user they can't track you and because um, sometimes when you go in and you're looking for flights they know you've done that so then if you go back in looking for those flights sometimes they raise the fee so if you go incognito mode which you can find on your browser if you go up to your browser um, it can allow you to do that then they don't have any tracking on you so that could be a really great tip if you're really uh, cost conscious around your flights and who isn't right and when you're packing and if you don't have packing cubes you can roll your clothes um, if you're really careful folding them and you roll roll them, they will, um, they will travel nice. You can fit everything in there and you can hopefully not have as many wrinkles. Another tip, bring a pillowcase. So with that pillowcase, you can, you know, put your jackets, you can put some extra clothes in that pillowcase and use it as a pillow on the plane. You can cover the pillows at the hotel. There are a lot of things that you can do with that pillowcase. Another really great tip is to bring your own towel because you never know if you're going to go to the beach or you need to have an extra beach towel and you can buy those microfiber towels or the ones that are really thin and they dry quickly and that would always be a great advantage to have. The one time I didn't bring one, I needed one. So it's always nice if you can fit it into your suitcase to bring uh, a little microfiber towel that will dry really fast. Another tip that was pretty interesting is if you want to bring snacks on the airplane, which of course you can, and you want to bring food that needs to be chilled, you can freeze a sponge. Just get a sponge, add some water to it, rinse it, you know, squeeze it out, put it in the freezer, and then it becomes a little ice pack without water, and you can uh, keep your food chilled as you're going on to the airplane. I thought that was a really brilliant idea. The last one that's kind of interesting that I would never have thought of is if you're carrying expensive equipment such as a camera or something that you are traveling with that's expensive and you want to protect it, throw some duct tape on it as if it were broken and it would deter anyone from wanting to steal a broken camera. Um, that's kind of, um, kind of fun, you know? Duct tape works for everything and it could be a theft deterrent as well. Now for some other little 
packing tips that aren't so out of the ordinary is when you're going on to a flight, in first class, they always give you a little amenity bag. It has a toothbrush, toothpaste, hand lotion, some lip balm. Um, it can have some socks and an eye mask, but you can make your own. You can get a, a little um, makeup bag or whatever and add your own products to your bag. And so you have your own amenity bag when you're sitting, when you're not sitting in first class. And I do that as well. Um, of course, it's really important if you're going on long flights to wear compression socks. Those are really helpful. Um, I started wearing compression socks. I bought the merino wool ones because I get really hot. And so I was thinking that maybe the merino wool would be a little better in regulating temperature. And it did. And it was really comfortable. And um, I did not overheat wearing those socks. Use packing cubes because those are really helpful, especially the ones that compress nicely. You can fit more stuff into your suitcase. And a really great tip that I have been using for a really long time is a program called TripIt. And it manages my itinerary. What it does is it goes through your emails, it pulls your itinerary, and it puts it all there and you have all the information that you need. What's super helpful also is when you're on, you know, you have a flight, you have a connection, and it manages all of that, and it's easier to read than the airline app. Of course, you still want the airline app because you want to get notifications, but TripIt will notify you of changes as well, as well as managing all your itinerary, your rental cars, your hotels, your excursions. If you have an email con confirmation, it'll pull it into your TripIt app, and it's really fabulous. And I think one of the most important travel tips, and as I was researching and looking around at traveling, I found this one line that really sums up traveling. And it's the best tip ever. And this line is, just don't care so much about the things that go wrong. It was said a little bit differently in, when I was reading it, but it's just like, just don't be so tied up with the outcome of the experience. So plan for things to go wrong, maybe plan for delays, plan that, you know, this traveling might, you know, go this way or this way. Just be a little adaptive, be resilient to the problem and just go with the flow. That's the best travel tip at all because you don't want to have to deal with the stress. The stress of traveling is created because of the frustration, about the time delays, about, you know, all of those things. So just don't care about the outcome. Just don't care. Just go with the expectation that everything is going to go smoothly, but if it doesn't, you're ready to adapt and then it'll make your trip in the long run much better. So I hope these tips have been helpful. If you like it, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Also, if there are some travel hacks that you love, I would love to know them and we could share them with this community. So take care and oh, don't forget to um, go in my description below and there is a link that will take you to um, a to-do list for traveling and a packing list and those will be really helpful as you plan your next trip so take care and ciao for now bye